Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. Today we'll be doing a top ponytail um, style and today's wig is provided by Julia's Hair. Now they've just sent over this 24 inch 13 by 4 um, straight uh, lace front wig. And guys this wig was extremely, extremely full. You will see towards the end of this tutorial uh, when I show you the finishing look how full this wig is. This wig actually looks like a frontal with three to four bundles so it's super super full so make sure you guys check out the description details down below so you could get the exact density and information on where to purchase this wig now today as i mentioned i will be doing a top ponytail style but uh, nevertheless you can see the unboxing um on the bottom left of this tutorial but today i jump straight into doing the ball cap method now i got this method from one of my um youtubers that uh did a review on my lace glue and i actually like this technique um she actually purchased my glue and did this technique for her ball cap method and i actually wanted to try it out and i love it so um what i did was place the cap on um to her head and i used one layer of that beautiful hustle lace melt glue and just one like layer of spray of that uh bed head hard head spray and I just blow dried it till it was completely clear. And this actually made my ball cap method so much, much so much more better. Um, because one, um, you lose you using less product, so instead of spraying a person's head a few times or using you know different layers of different products to get the ball cap to stick the first time, just using one layer of that glue and one um one a round of that spray it got this cap molded where it was not lifting whatsoever so this is a easy quick uh new ball cap method that you guys can try out on your clients and just let me know you know how it goes now for um this client here um she does have like long sideburns and most people don't like to really cut their sideburns off so i just matched the um cap to go with the same exact shape of her hairline all the way down to the sideburns um, it's your well, it's up to them if they okay with cutting it, they can cut it, but if they don't want to, they shouldn't have to. You just learn how to uh work, you know, around around it. So, as I mentioned, I just went ahead and did her cap, and now I'm just gonna go in with that Ruby Kisses Foundation uh, level 13 using a darker shade and just begin to shade on top of that cap so it can blend nice and seamless. And I really, really, like I mentioned, like this method so much more better um, than just doing it how I used to do it because it just speeds up the process as well as far as the installation process um, for this step. So after I finish applying the foundation, I will get into, you know, um, applying the wig, of course. And um, this wig, um, I did have to bleach the notch and I did do some plucking. Um... It was not hard to plug whatsoever, but, you know, depending on what type of tweezers you use, do be careful to, um, you know, be careful when plucking because um, you can't rip the lace easily. So just, you know, take your time and plug and do whatever you need to do. Now, as far as her hairline and the wig itself, this wig did not match her hairline. So you will see me go on in this tutorial later on after gluing and cutting off a lot of that extra lace towards the center. That way her wig will not be too far down as far as in the middle section um, because she do have that high low hairline. So it's important that you do apply the glue to match the person's hairline. That way you can cut the extra lace off in the same pattern um, um, as their natural hairline. But now I'm just taking that foundation. I'm applying that same foundation that I used on the cap onto the lace, on top of the lace and underneath the lace as well. And I started a while back doing the um, foundation on top of the lace as well, just to make sure it really blends into that person's skin as natural as possible. And just taking some holding spray and spraying it on top of that, um, underneath that lace where that foundation is so it does not um, transfer over onto the client's head, which can prevent your lace from sticking or lasting as long as you would like it to. And then I'm just going to go in with my Beautiful Hustlers Lace Melt Adhesive and just begin to apply my layers, uh, wait for it to turn clear, and then begin to pull my lace down and get it molded.
Sakari. So after adding all of the layers um, into onto your client's head and it turns clear as you see here, I, you can go ahead and uh, begin to pull the lace down um, into the glue and just have them assist you um, hold each side down as you glue. But make sure also when you are placing the cap, you do um, place, I mean not the lace, but when you place um, that lace. Um, onto the head make sure you do not stick it directly on top of the cap you do want to have that lace um, past the cap when you land it down that way you will not see the cap underneath there or the the print of where the cap shows that's a common mistake some new stylists make as well um, you do not want to place it on top of the cap directly like where the hair where the cap starts you want to place that lace a little bit past that cap line that way everything blends in perfectly and you do not see that cap underneath but once you do that just go ahead and begin to use your comb and your blow dryer on the heat setting and melt that lace and today i'll be using a technique i learned from slay by jordan by putting my melt belt on top of the lace and um before i cut the extra lace off instead of um doing it after the lace but i still end up tying the lace down once again but i just went ahead and put it on top let that sit um, for about five minutes and now I'm back to cut off the extra lace and I will be using an eyebrow razor and as I begin to um, Razor off this extra lace you will see how natural and how well blended and melted um, This lace is into the skin before I even tack down those extra corners Super melted super natural looking and blends so perfectly and really melted in So um, once I get into you know finish laying this lace cutting off the extra and tacking everything down, we will get into the style. As you can see, um, as you can see, most of the lace is tacked down. It's just very little tiny pieces that still lift it up. But we're just going to take some clips and clip everything back so I don't miss any pieces that's lifting. So just clip everything backwards. That way you can pull that, you know, give it a little tension and pull it up. And that way you can tack down whatever else is still lifting before you get into um, tying down the lace once again and styling.
look how natural that is looking as I'm tucking down the rest of the lace. It's just looking so natural and so melted. Absolutely love <laughs> my product, of course. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck down that other side as well. And as I mentioned, after we do all of this, um, we will get into the styling portion. As far as baby hairs, I didn't do too many. I only did um, just like at the part areas in the sideburn. Um, I didn't want to go baby cray. Uh, baby cray. <laughs> I didn't want to go baby hair crazy with this installation. Um, but if you do want to add more baby hairs to this install when you're doing all your own client, feel free to. is tacked down i'm just gonna go ahead and go on with some hard head bed head spray um just spray it across the hairline before i tie it down um that's just to make everything just super super like push back too um because i like i mentioned i didn't want to do too many baby hairs so i did want the hairline to be as like neat as possible so um, I did comb everything back and then tie it down. It's gonna give like that natural pushback on the hairline as well from the elastic band and that spray laying everything down. And off camera while I was waiting, I did go ahead and press all of this hair out. I just used my flat iron and some flat ironing spray and pressed out the whole hairline. So I'm just gonna comb that hairline now once again to make it nice and soft. And I'm just gonna take alcohol as well and just wipe of any residue that's on the skin that dripped down on the forehead so it does not have like that white residue outside of the hairline. So I did go ahead and clean that area off um, as well. And as I mentioned for today's style, we will do the top ponytail look. So I will begin to uh, part off my section for um, what the ponytail would be and the hair that would just fall down behind the ear. So I'm just going to start and part, you know, that little small section. Depending on how much hair you want up, it's up to you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to uh, put up the same amount I put up. You could put up all of the top, or you could put up an even smaller section at the top. It's just all on you and your client's preference. But I did want to do like, like deep side parts on both sides, and then have the hair pulled up at the top. And right now I'm just pulling down that little section right there and I will do this on both sides because this will be the only baby hair that I do for this install. Just a little swoop right here and then of course the sideburn and everything else will be either down behind the ear or pulled up in a ponytail. So um, just try to make the parts as symmetrical as possible so it does not look uneven. But once you get all of that out the way, make sure you part off a section in the back as well to cover up um, where the tracks start on this lace wig. And I'm just going to put everything that I'm holding right now into a quick messy ponytail. That way I can begin to um, use my glam wax stick and apply it on those areas that I will hot comb out before um, actually pulling the top up in a ponytail. So just a quick little heads up. Um, I did change the packaging for the Glam Wax. Um, my brand colors are actually black, uh, pink, and gold. So um, this was pretty much like my old labels and my old, um, you know, my old, I forgot what you call it, but just had a brain freeze. <laughs> my old logo there we go my old logo so uh, it is the same product but this new shipment it will have a different labeling but it's this, i mean a different packaging but it is the same product i just updated my packaging so everything matches so it will be updated on my site as well so don't be confused it's the same product it's just going to have a new packaging look but yeah i'm just going to take that glam wax and the hot comb and just press everything out 
And guys, when I tell you this wig was so full, like I was just so amazed on how full this wig was. Like a lot of people, you know, thought it was like front to one bundles and everything, but it's really just how full this wig is. Like they really did a great job making um, this lace wig here. Like I have no complaint. The hair was super soft, full hairline, easy to work with, everything. So that was so dope. But now that I have all of that pressed out, um, what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of wax and apply it all on my area for the ponytail part. Just do a little hot combing and then I'm going to secure everything with the um, big nude rubber band. Um, you can use the small black rubber bands. You can use whatever you prefer. You can even use like just full stretchy um, scrunchies or whatever like that. But it's just really what you like to use, what works best for you. And, you know, sometimes I use the small black rubber bands, but I really like the bigger ones because they stretch more and you can really grab it um, how you want and go around the ponytail area as many times as you need. So I will use the big nude um, rubber band for this part. But once you do your wrap around um, the ponytail, you're not going to see the rubber band regardless or whatever you are using. So it really does not matter. Um, so, yeah, once I do this, I will do the wrap around. Um, and you know, just secure the little, you know, so that way the rubber band don't show. Just do that wrap around part, smooth everything out, and I will get into the finishing touches as far as doing the baby hair and you know, the concealing of the parts and the black spring. So stay tuned. For today, um, I will be using the mousse bed head, um, the mousse holding spray, and the wax stick. I like to um, take the wax stick and rub it on top of the hair. It kind of makes it lay down already. So once I lay it down, I just take a little mousse and put it on top of it. And then I go on with the holding spray. Um, once I get it the desired swoop that I like it to be, to just give it a nice firm hold. So yes, wax stick, mousse, and then the holding spray is what I'm doing for the baby hair. Um, this is going to be like my new little technique. I like this way so much better. Y'all know I'm always trying some new stuff, trying to see, you know, what works best and giving new ideas to try new things because every stylist is different and could do, you know, things better with certain products. So, yeah, I'm going to just do the same technique for all the four of the baby hairs that I am doing. So, just continue to watch.
so now that everything is complete um, I'm just gonna go ahead and black spray and conceal the parts and we will be finished and that is pretty much like the whole finishing touches on this look so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know what you think about this look down in the comments don't mind me I know I look a mess but this ain't about me right now <laughs> but thank you guys for tuning in to I'm Beautiful Austin TV soon we'll be 200 subscribers if people just stop hating subscribe because they watch the videos anyways <laughs> And we will soon be to 100K. So uh, thank you guys for the continuous support. Thank you for buying all of my products. I'm officially restocking and I'm going to upload everything on the site. So stay tuned and thank you guys for the constant support.